I'm Soto, and today I'd like to introduce the topic of the Japanese government's announcement that Japan will resume accepting foreign tourists. Yesterday, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida announced that Japan will resume accepting foreign tourists on June 10th, expanding the number of foreign visitors to 20,000 per day from the current 10,000 per day. Look at this graph. You can clearly see that the number of foreign visitors coming to Japan are increasing. Since the admission of foreign tourists has been practically suspended since April 2020, this is going to be the first time in about two years and two months that the number of foreign visitors will resume. This will allow us to welcome foreigners that have been wanting to come to Japan but were not able to do so. And look, this topic is even on the front page of the newspaper. Over here, like this. Okay, with that out of the way, let me introduce Japan's current COVID-19 situation. Currently, the number of new positive cases in Japan is about 30,000 per day. And the number of new positives in Tokyo, where I live, is about 3,000 per day and has been decreasing for 12 consecutive weeks. The number of severe cases is about 90 nationwide, and the percentage of people who have taken the vaccine three times is about 58%. Compared to the Omicron outbreak at the beginning of this year, the outbreak seems to have slowed down considerably. Japanese people are accustomed to wearing masks. The reason is that the majority of Japanese people wear masks every spring to suppress allergic symptoms called hay fever, which 40% of the Japanese population suffers from. Anyway, considering this downward trend in the number of COVID-19 cases and its impact on the tourist industry, it was decided to resume accepting foreign tourists. At present, only five major airports including Narita and Haneda are allowed to accept international flights, but from now on, Shin Chitose Airport in Hokkaido and Naha Airport in Okinawa will also be allowed to accept international flights. In addition, tourists from 98 countries and regions with low positive rates will be allowed to enter Japan without quarantine or waiting. For the time being, it seems to be limited to escorted package tourists, but I think that individual tourists will be accepted in phases. Although there is controversy within Japan about the government's decision, I hope we will be able to welcome the foreign tourists who have come all the way to Japan with full measures against COVID-19 and warm hospitality. So today I have introduced the resumption of acceptance of foreign tourists in Japan. We would be very happy if many foreigners could use this opportunity to experience many things like places, foods, and customs that we've introduced in our videos. And we hope that the number of people who are interested in Japan will increase. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure to subscribe, push the like button, and we'll see you in the next video.